B road. Difficult to grow, aren't they? Who do you like more, Ed or Tommy? Is it difficult being the most talented gay enduro rider in the world? <laughs> What's going on, Bill? Just a proven of Ed's editing, because quite often he puts in things that shouldn't be put in the vlogs. Yeah, but you shouldn't film things that shouldn't be put in the vlogs. And then I wouldn't get confused when editing them. Oh, that's a good point. But to be fair, there's plenty of blackmail for Mr. Graham Jarvis to go at, so... Yeah, we've got, we've got Graham's, uh, Graham's life by the scruff of his bollocks at the base, after he, his statements. He owes you a new GoPro screen yeah, after... Yeah, and also, it's, uh, it's not in this one. I'm not, I'll, I'll fuck it up if I try and find it. Part three, you'll see that my GoPro was vandalised by Graham Jarvis and is now no longer in use. Very good, actually, these... Oh, well, you'll already seen them by the time this one this comes out, I thought. But yeah, but what they could do is go back, give them an, yeah, a, give like, them a like, and a rewatch. Yeah, because. And do not skip the ads. Don't skip the ads. These are now going to be, by the time this video comes out, these will be for sale exclusively. What are you doing with this one? Look, look, Bill. Oh, that's brilliant, actually. See? Support the movement, you know. Help a brother out. How much are these going to be? 11 quid? 20 no, no, quid? No, it's 7 99 Don't want to put prices in, don't you do <laughs> And what about these? you get one of these free when you, when you buy a...? <coughs> yeah, I haven't really publicised this. I thought it would just be a nice little, um, little bonus for those that have made orders so far, but now you've videoed it, you might as well make it. But you get a free little card signed with all your orders. Just a little thank you. Come on then, let's, let's sign one up. Right, I'll get that get that copied on the on the check for my wages this month, eh? Yeah. Right, whilst we're sat doing not a right lot, I put on my Instagram to see if anyone wanted to answer ask us a question. Ed's gonna pick a few of your questions and I'll answer them for you. Make sure you answer them truthfully. Might need a copy. What moose loop do you use? Let me answer these questions. No, Pick let the me questions. fucking ask. Because you're just picking the questions that people are sitting as a laugh. Moose loops is serious. He's been, he's taking the piss, Jonathan Richardson, you haven't, haven't looked through the questions. Gives it here, let me. But you can change angles to give, so people don't get bored of it, and you can chip in and, you know, contribute to a few. What, you want me to answer a few? Why don't you do another story now quickly, asking f questions for me and I'll answer a few. What's it like working with Billy Bowl? Shit. The pay's shit. Right, well done. You've, you, you've got yourself a 30 second feature in the video. <laughs> Can I get back to my video I want to film, please? Yeah. This is a good first question. Edward will like this one, because he's sick of seeing these comments. Why are the factory boys not allowed to run GoPros on their helmets anymore? Because we've been inundated with comments. Uh, why is your GoPro in the chest? All you can see is a bar pad. I know it's not everyone's favourite view. Um, I don't mind it. I actually don't mind it. I prefer that to when you can see half a peak. So yeah, we, um, it is correct. We're not allowed to run cameras on our helmets anymore. Um, there was a supercross rider in America, had a crash earlier this year and had a very, very, very serious injury and it's thought that the the camera might have contributed or it might have been slightly less serious if it wasn't on his helmet. Um, whatever whatever you think I have to say about it, it's out of my control, so you don't need to continue commenting, put the GoPro on your helmet. If they just read the description of the video. Exactly, if they were, if they know it all enough that, to know that it's not the best GoPro part of you, but they don't do research and read descriptions of videos they were watching to get a bit of background information, the answer's been in there from the start. Bit of a negative first question, actually. I'll pick a happier one this time. You feel stronger this year? Yes. Considerably stronger than last year. Um, obviously, broke my leg in 2018. Um, and I had six months without riding at the start of last year, so I was always coming in kind of on the back foot. How do you take your coffee? You've just seen that. Look. No. Me, there's a lot of questions here. Look at that. Oh, there's more. Well, go on, pick one. Random. Quick spin and first finger. 
What is your height? 188 centimetres ish, I think. Ooh, what was that one? <laughs> How much to come to America or something? Why do people keep inviting these places? How do you feel the fuel injected for your hundred days for extreme enduro? I think it's very, very good. They've made we've made significant improvements. Um, there was a few teething problems when it first came out. Um, there's no hiding that, but I think now the bike that we have and the, the bike that's available is very, very good, and especially for hard enduro, the way the power is, stuff like that. Very good. So yeah, I've actually just came back from Italy. Ed just picked us up from the airport today, but I thought you can't bear another well, trip to Italy vlog. They can't keep. They can't really see it anyway because you're testing bikes that aren't. Well, uh, yeah, I thought you can't bear another. Everyone's going to think, do you go any other places other than Italy? But I usually do. We're just kind of making the most of the fact there's not really too many races at the minute. So we've been doing a lot of testing, quite a bit of work um, with R and D, which is nice. Something different, real work. Ish. Any injury from the impact of the drone? Um, I did have a bit of a scratch and a bit of a bruise, and I was gonna make put it on my story last night until I realised it literally looks like nothing. So I thought I'm gonna look like a right wimp if I put that on now. But a bit of a scratch and a bruise, um, and the guy did come up to us afterwards and apologise. And believe it or not, he's very very good at flying his drone. I can't believe how many questions is. Oh, this question. I'll answer it now, just so there's some evidence of an answer. Two stroke or four stroke, doesn't matter. Depends what, if you really want to go into detail, depends what track you're riding, what race you're riding, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really matter. I like either, I can ride either. Just get on with it, ride your bike. What, wait, what happened to your fingers? Tune in to Q&A part two, find out. Come back. Like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Mm. <laughs> it's not even like it's a secret, I just like to drag it out and <laughs> if I get it's in so many vlogs it, now. It can't no one can find out the real reason. Did you not have GPS on that you went off the course at Sea to Sky? Yes, I did, which is um annoying. But the GPS wasn't incredibly accurate the whole day. And I thought, hmm, do I go with the kind of the track and the arrows on the rocks that I could see, which obviously went from this year's track, but or do I go back to the GPS line, which hasn't, wasn't 100% accurate for all the race. And I went for the track I could see, obviously I turned out to be the, the wrong decision. Does your shop deliver to New Zealand? Yes. Full international shipping available, shopbb57.com. I'm actually not, not merged up at all today. No, you've got the Kex merch on today. I've got the Kex merch. I'm, re I'm returning the favor because to be fair, Ed has his shop BB57 merch on in most vlogs, so I'm returning the favour, to be honest. Kexunderwear.com And you can buy the most high quality underwear and hoodies. And you've also got your own discount code, haven't you? BB57. Is it? That's, that's the one. BB57. Get whatever you want for free. On me. This is a good one, because I'm going to call him out now. Do a Bolt versus Java showdown on your track. I'd like to do that. I've already asked Graham about it. I got... Graham's usual enthusiastic response of mm -hmm. would like to do that. I would like to do a game of bike um, on the Super Enduro track with Graham. Why don't you send your wonderful followers to his Instagram so, yeah, and spam him? So yeah, if you could all him. spam him, it's a good idea. Ed. Spam Graham and say go to Billy's track or use your imagination. Graham makes Graham makes very good view, and I'm, I like I like Graham. He's 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 good for content. Good for views. It's good for that ad revenue. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite bike? Mm. Actually, no. I'll answer. What's your favourite bike? Of the Husqvarna range, I would say my favourite bike is a FE 350 because I, would, I think it's the most versatile. You can do anything you want on it. Um, extreme enduro, hard enduro, motocross, super enduro, Set up differently for each sport, or just yeah. Well, it depends on the budget, doesn't it? How how niche you go, but it's got a screwdriver, couple of clickers here and there, do a bit of twinkling. What's better, getting hit by a drone or drinking petrol during a race? Look, is it Thomas? Yeah, is he coming here? Get him to come here, and I'll oh, we've missed it. Get him to come here, and I'll put ask for questions for him. What are you doing? 
you Where are you? Turn doing? your music off. I'm not going to be allowed to get any ads. Uh, Thomas, the grind doesn't stop. I see that. You are really are going for this vlog life. Vlog life's the life. We'll call in and you can join in with question and answer. We'll put on the Instagram now a couple of questions. I'll get some questions asked for you, but from your endure followers, look, his eyes have lit up when you said endure followers. <laughs> Just call in and I'll explain when you get here. Look at this, look at this. He's merched up. Merched up. Has he got a tash on? He's, he's made himself a tash, that's how much of a fan he is. He's obviously parked up somewhere safe because he hasn't got a seatbelt on. I've actually seen one, I don't know where it is now, that says, Was Graham really your hero when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I used to watch, it had the World Trials Championship Review of 2003 on DVD and I used to watch that on repeat constantly um, and I can tell you that day two in Japan it rained and Graham was the boy and he won that day and I just remember watching them section. Why you use two strokes for some reasons and four strokes for others? You like that question. You know what? KTM or Husqvarna, come on, how are you, sort it out, are you a bit nuts? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> what do you reckon, Ed? Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that one, yes. Can I chuck a question in there? Come on, Edward. What is your favourite race? Uh, Give me your favourite and your worst. That's, that's too hard a question. Um, I like the fact that we get so many different kinds of races. Different styles, one day, three days, five days. I'd say my favourite probably Esberg, the whole week, the whole concept of it, you know, it's like the biggest race there is and it's kind of like what made what made our sport what it is today. Whether you go and ride or you go and just watch and be there for the week as a spectator or whatever, I think it's something that everyone should experience at some point in their life because it's sick. Romania... It's not the worst race, it's the hardest, and at, at times it feels like the worst race because it, it, for me, it's by far the hardest. The emotions you go through and the feeling that to actually make it to that final climb on the last day is just mental. When you think back of what you experienced in the last five days, you just, you're in disbelief, really. So, um, they're the two main ones, I would say. The two stroke or four banger. Would you rather have feet for hands or hands for feet? Questions like that are stupid. Because it's just unrealistic, in it? You've not got a shop BB sticker on the back of your phone. Save this one. I'll not just keep burning into brand new sheets like you do. Great stickers, stick them on anything. Great stickers, stick on anything. You know what we should do? Keep them get, him, in that get him at some point a video of him holding it. <laughs> And then put the voice over what he when he tried to sell his stickers. <laughs> put the voice over behind and use it as a and put it as an uh, Instagram and Facebook advert and just pay like hundred pound a day <laughs> so it just gets spammed everywhere. Just him holding these stickers, that'd be brilliant. Can you show the correct foot position on the pegs and how you move your foot to brake? It depends a lot on the discipline and what you're riding. Really, obviously. Your motocross people have it drilled into you to be on the balls of your feet, which I think is true for a lot of things and also is applicable to quite a few hard enduro situations. With hard enduro and the technical stuff, I think you've got to be a little bit more flexible and you've kind of, at times, it's like kind of a last minute ditch to get any part of your foot on the pegs to put a bit of pressure to allow the back wheel to grip. Um, yeah, you've got to be a lot more flexible. Um, so I get it depends a lot on the um, on what you're riding and stuff like that. Quick check. They're very out there, aren't they? These Odell Beckham Jr. He's a cool dude. Have you not heard of Odell, Odell Beckham, the American football player? No, mate. I mean, oh, he's a cool fucker. Give him a follow on Instagram. He he's got some style, that lad. Uh, what do you personally think are the best enduro boots? Despite being sponsored, I think City are the best enduro boots, especially for hard enduro. The weight of them and, and the fact they don't get any heavier when they get wet, full of piss, um, and the flexibility and, and the grip they have, by far the best, I think. When you're coming to South Africa, hopefully soon, um, your border opened yesterday. Hopefully Roxanne is going to arrive here. I've seen there's a few questions asking when Roxanne, but hopefully she's going to arrive here next, beginning of next week. 
all being well. By and the we'll, time this video is out, she's probably hopeful. Yeah, you'll it. see if she's or if it's all gone wrong, but it's looking good and like she can get back. I'd like to try and get there December for holiday season uh, and get a bit of bike get a bike out there and do some cruising about like normal, but again, just depends on what races are gonna happen. What is the first bike you ever rode? Uh, standard PW50. Then a KTM SX50, then a Lem50, they were the proper bad boys then. What's them things you always bang on about to me? Trials ones. Uh, then, and then, now then, then, then came the TY80. My mum and dad, I did, I actually did, uh, a couple of motocross races when I was six on a 50 in the auto class well I wouldn't really class them as races you kind of just start crash a few times day <laughs> had the high vis on fucking sprinting about just just picking my bike up and straightening it out for us <laughs> and then um, my mum and dad weren't really too much of a fan of the motocross scene so I got given the TY80 if you know what one of them is then you know um and then I was a trials rider for the rest of my life until a few years ago. That's the story. Which they could also watch the full story in the new Moto. There's movie. a movie coming out which has a good bit of background info actually. Not entirely sure of the release date, but it's very good, very good. I believe December. Is it actually? I think it's December. I oh, it's coming soon. Me and Edward got all, got all, we went, got all cinematic on went all it. Hollywood and cinematic. But the bits I've seen of it, I like a lot. What age did you go factory? 2017, not entirely sure. Um, After Rosberg, wasn't it? 19, well, no, the next year, so, well, I signed for Husky at the end of the year, but then the next, it was really the next year. So 2017, I was 20, 1920. <laughs> Who do you like more, Ed or Tommy? No, who's, who's right there? Joe Newey, do you know him? I don't know, do you want me to give you the camera to answer this while I step out the room? <laughs> No, Edward, far more useful human being than Thomas is. <laughs> <laughs> that is a joke. I love, all, I love all my friends just as much. That's brilliant. <laughs> Do you like riding Romania? At the at some time, at the time, I'd be tempted to say no, but looking back and when you think about it, yeah, it's mad, absolutely mad. Shit race. Ed's done it before. Did you do bron bronze class? Yeah, I did bronze 2018? class. 2018? Yeah, the wettest year and the year that we had to ride the, 200 uh, kilometers to Stradia. We went out, there was a, a bivouac the year Ed was there. It was very difficult. Johnny Walker stitched you up for that, didn't he? Yeah, told you it would be a lovely... Told me it would be the best thing I've ever done. The best riding experience you'll ever have. And on the first day, nine hours into it, lost with a packet of biscuits in my backpack. I thought, he's, fucking, he's had me here. <laughs> That's a very good summary of the race, that. Apart from, we don't have time to stop and have a package of biscuits. Oh, mate, I needed them. I was dying. How badly would you smoke Tommy Searle in a pit bike race? I don't know. Um, slightly bigger and heavier than him. Don't know if you have noticed by now, but... Although I do thoroughly enjoy a good pit bike scrag, um, speed isn't my strong point on them. Is it difficult being the most talented gay enduro rider in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Who's wrote that? Ra Re I can't pronounce his name. That GoPro angle was shit house on the Sea of Sky video. Um, occasionally it does point down a little bit too much. It's quite hard to tell. Also, when you're in a race, it's kind of not the first thing on your mind. Although, when you're editing, did you see in the mountain race, I took both hands off and I got unbelievable head shake? No, whereabouts? I'll what time code is that? Early on, probably within the first quarter of the race, um, we'll try and find the clip. It's got to be on there. Oh my goodness, no hands, tank slapper with the bars going like this. They were moving that fast, I couldn't even <laughs> put my hands back on them. Um, when, when 300 and when 450. Whenever you want. Have you ever been to Sicily? No, but I've heard it's quite good for Ryan and Joe. How much times are a week are you training before Romaniacs? Every day, every second of every hour that you're awake. Uh, is Roof of Africa calling you for another appointment one day? Yes, definitely. Would love to go back. Any new merch coming? Any t-shirt designs? Yeah, well, it's getting towards winter. There's going to be a hoodie. There's going to be a hoodie and a new t-shirt coming out soon. What's the style? Are we having an aesthetics, a pro vlogger? Nah. Well, to be confirmed, 
TBC. TBC, what we're actually going to go for. I don't know, which one are me? Probably Rogue. Any good? It's difficult to grow, isn't it? This is such a good surprise, bless him. He's going right, to think birthday. <laughs> you set me down. I got an array of questions. Oh, there's a door in Pandy's. Any nasty ones or not? Yeah, first one. Is it true you did a p There's no stick on Tashi's on here for other people. Great stickers, they stick on anything. Great stickers, stick on anything. Well, I need to promote that again. Yeah, if Look, you could just give me a there. test one, pretend uh, this is not my brand. Yeah, but to pretend they're your brand and, and give us the sell job. Okay, wait. New stickers online at the website um, www.backyarddesign.co.uk. This is not stickers that I've produced. These ones. There's no. Uh, don't waste a new sheet, man! These ones. Waste of my time. Absolutely naff. Lucky. They're free, because if you had to pay for these off anything, you'd fucking put in an official complaint. Not like yours. Yours are great stickers. They no, stick mine are anything. expensive. They are expensive, but they have really good stickers. They stick great on stickers. Stick on anything. Great stickers. Stick on anything. Come on then, Bill. Let's do my questions. No, don't do that. <laughs> any questions from your Enduro fans? He keeps falling off. Don't worry, can... he's his all the time. Ooh, he's doing love messages at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Billy will be missing next week. Oh yeah, you're going to be missing person, That's aren't you? That's one of the questions, are you ready to share Billy with Roxy? Who sent that Roxy? Mm. <laughs> That's quite cute. First one, you're Who sent that? Billy Elvin. I don't know, just a, just a fan of mine. <laughs> Why is he such a bell? <laughs> I'm not going to answer you, so I'll Drove over here to do this. Are you and Billy both on for Western Beach Race next year? Next year I'll do it. What? No, you won't. Why are you lying? Next year I'll race Western. How do you go so fast? Teach me. He's read that you. No. You're not. You're not Actually, very good at, this, at seizing the moment here, are uh, you? Because this, I'll give you another opportunity. Can Thomas give me some free stickers because I'm skinned? Uh, yeah, I can actually. Yeah. I'll do a free set. Who sent that? Why don't you do a competition? For a I'm gonna take my tash off. No, I know what you can do. You can ask him a question. Like, when was the first podium you got? Or when was this? And the first person that comments it down below. Yeah, on this one. On we this can, exact I'll, video. I'll give you this platform to run a competition to sell a set of your stickers. Get, make it a hard question. Uh, where was your first ever GP appearance? And what year and what bike? They got to get it all right. I think uh, it's quite easy. Oh no, you've got to be a sort of long-time fan to win that. So yeah, you can have. So what, what's but the question? That's then? not fair enough for the young kids. All right, I'll give backyard designs graphics away. Custom. Custom. Uh, you can design them yourself. You have to. The first one is the question that you asked. So well, let's recap it. So what the question is? If you can get all three parts of this question right, my first GP, what team I was on, and mm. how old I was when I raced it. Um, oh, that's tricky. Yeah, quite tricky. I was going to say what result I got as well, which is really tricky. But you can research it on. Um, don't get, don't give it away. No, you can research it. So I'll do all four points of that question because it's such a great prize. The stickers are fantastic. The first person that gets it right, I'll give them to, and then uh, we'll do on the next blog another one. Come do you scrun scrunch or fold his toilet paper? Oh, I don't like questions like this. You can fuck right off. I asked you some stupid questions like this and you snatched the phone back off me. So don't ask him stupid ones. Yeah, no, nasty. He's going for all the nasty ones. Do you wish one day you could whip like Uncle Bill Dog? No, but I'm going to learn to wheelie up rocks like Uncle Bill Dog. Oh, yeah. Mm. This, um, I'm going to get an enduro bike. I've finally thought of it. I'm going to get the enduro bike off of um, Dave and buy him one. And um, I'm going to go to Wales. So that, that answers another I'm question. I'm actually quite keen to do it. I've sort of talked myself into it. Right. And I'm going to have a go at things as well. I'm not just going to moan. I'm going to actually attempt oh. stuff. How did he get into motocross? Oh, my dad bought me a bike for Christmas, along with my older brother. 
the, the rest of them are just stupid about nasty riding questions engines. again. Yeah, quite a few nasty questions. You, <laughs> you tend to generate <laughs> generate negativity very easily, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, why is that? I need to change that, don't I? Has he always been a mourner? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm trying to be a bit more positive on this blog because the last one, everyone said I'm not. I mean, the main question that I think that, that, that needs to be answered is what are you going to do with yourself after racing? Because you don't like trials bikes, you don't like enduro, you don't really like mountain biking. What do I like then? Motocross. That's the only thing you like is motocross. Yeah, you my don't really like bikes. mini biking. No, but when I'm not... Fist fight between Billy and Tommy, no shirts, who wins? Me. I'm a lot faster than you. <laughs> More fast nimble, aren't I? <laughs> well, Thomas has had his little feature. Five, he's never five seconds of fame. I think he's fluffed it again. You've begged me to come over here to do this. We're trying to help I was expecting you. more questions for you. Well, I, I, I've, I've got loads on there. Don't make out I haven't got many. All right, well, you can pick through. some yourself then. No, we've done the questions. We've done. Oh, another question just came in. Is it about my stickers? You're a <laughs> but <a> good <laughs> I told you I wasn't making it up. So Remember signing my goggles when you was having your house plastered? Yeah. Got a fan. What's his name? Luke. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's what I tell people now because when they ask me in, a sh in um, stuff, they ask me like, "Oh, do you know him?" And I just go, "Yeah," and then it saves the awkward conversation after. And then you go, "No," and they go, "Oh, right." And they go, "Oh, but he races," and I'm like, "Oh, now I just go, yeah," and they race bikes, and they're like, "Yeah, races bikes," and I'm like, "Yeah," and then I leave the shop, and they leave the shop. Everyone's happy, and I just feel men. Like, subscribe, share. Tell your mum, tell your dad, your children don't swear, stick in at school, help your mum and dad out around the house. And buy some merch. Buy merchandise.